Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and I have two of the latest Nokia Lumia devices here. There's the Lumia 930 and the Lumia 635. And I wanted to put together a quick video to show you the differences between them and perhaps come up with the answer to the question as to whether or not you should opt for the cheaper model. Are you losing out by saving a couple of hundred dollars on this? Let's find out. Now let's go over the most noticeable differences first and actually if you look at the design they couldn't be more different. The Lumia 930 is made from metal, it has a plastic back but it's a matte plastic back and it's gently curved to sort of take away from the flat edges and the sharp angles that you might feel along the edges and the corners. The Lumia 635 on the other hand has a plastic back and you can actually take it off and it's not matte, it's a very glossy finish, a removable back cover so you can change the battery, pop your sim card in and all that kind of stuff. The Lumia 930 is taller, wider and thicker than the 635 and it has a larger display. Both use Gorilla Glass 3 on the front and both have the volume and power buttons on the right hand edge so they're really easy to reach with your right thumb or your fingers on your left hand. One thing the 930 has over the 635 is that it actually has a dedicated camera shutter button. It certainly makes taking pictures much easier. And the other difference on the control side is the Lumia 930 actually has capacitive buttons on the front so your search and your back and your home key are all there whereas the 635 has virtual ones in the software built in so you'll see them when your screen is on but not when it's switched off. And since we're on to the displays let's talk about those differences. The Lumia 930 has 5 inches versus the 4.5 inch screen on the 635 and you're looking at a resolution difference as well and quite a big one. The Lumia 930 has a full HD display 1080 by 1920 resolution whereas the 635 is a lot less. It's 480 by 854 which gives it a pretty measly pixel density of 218 pixels per inch and that's about half the 441 pixels per inch you'd get on the Lumia 930 so you'll notice a massive difference in sharpness. And that's something I noticed right away when I switched on the Lumia 635 is actually it's not very sharp at all. You can see pixels, text is not crisp, colours are a bit wrong and that's not something that you'd expect from an LCD panel. Now the Lumia 930 may have an AMOLED screen but actually it's a very good one. Whites change slightly in colour when you change the viewing angle but when you're looking at it face on it's a very bright, very crisp and very good display. The less said about the 635 display the better. It is pretty bad. And it's a tale of two cities when you talk about cameras as well. Like I've already mentioned the Lumia 930 is very heavily geared towards being a fantastic camera. It's a 20 megapixel pure view lens, it takes fantastically high resolution pictures and it uses a Carl Zeiss lens and has a dual LED flash. And it also records full HD video which isn't the best video quality I've seen but it's certainly better than the 720p video quality on the 635. Still photography is no better really either. The 635 has an 8 megapixel lens which is okay but it doesn't have a flash and it's actually quite difficult to get really really nice shots. But that's not to say that it takes poor shots. I think the worst part is because the display is so poor when you take a shot it doesn't look very good on the phone itself. It will look much better when you transfer it onto a better screen like on your computer for instance. Now on to performance and they both have very different processing power. The Snapdragon 2.2 GHz quad core processor on the Lumia 930 is much more powerful than the Snapdragon 400 1.2 GHz processor on the 635 but actually using the Nokia Lumia 635 you won't really notice it that much. Switching between apps and gliding through screens is actually quite seamless and fluid. So you're not going to sit there using the phone wishing that you had a faster and better phone because actually it's quite pleasant to use. And of course both are loaded with the latest version of Windows Phone. Windows Phone 8.1 comes with a new action center and of course Cortana the new digital assistant which has all the personality and accuracy that you would expect from Siri on the iPhone. It will tell you jokes, the weather, it will tell you what's on your calendar and obviously search the web plus a lot of other stuff. There's a difference in network speed as well. The Lumia 930 has Category 4 LTE which means it's capable of going all the 
the way up to 150 megabits per second on LTE. Whereas the 635 is capable of category three, which gives it a maximum speed of 100 megabits per second. The Lumia 930 is clearly a much better phone. And that's why it has a much better price tag. But if you're looking for a budget Windows phone and you want something that's quite nice to use, and it isn't a terrible overall experience, then the 635 isn't a really bad option. It's clearly nowhere near as good as the 930, but if you're on a budget, then it's certainly something worth considering. I've been Cam, I'm at PhoneDog underscore Cam on Twitter. If you have any questions or suggestions, feel free to get me on there or use the comments below. And I'll see you again soon.